Yo, what's up guys? Realist guy in the room here. It's been a while and guess what? We're back. We're back at it. But what are we back at it with? Well, what do you know? It's another case of them allegations because you know in commentary now we can't just roast other people and have a good laugh. We need to make it all super serial and have a bunch of allegations come out. Many of which end up being ridiculous most of the time and this one here is no exception. So we're going to be looking at it real quick and it comes from an individual. Well, I don't even know what their name is and I don't care enough to know what their name is. The point is they're throwing in the whole uh, G word, you know, the G to the R to the double O M I N G and the P slur bull crap that Susan won't let you say, but I find a way around it. So they're throwing around those accusations that you can see on the screen, ladies and gentlemen, and they're doing it for Dan from Game Grumps just got out it for being a creep. And this is what they said. Now, they go on to bring in some very, very, very long, uh, you know, text. And, you know, when somebody brings in very, very, very long text and try to sound super smart, that means they can't be wrong because they're, they're, <laughs> you have no idea how many people that uh, do this actually count on you getting worn out by the, the amount of text they write. Basically, to put it sweet and to the point, uh, they talk a lot, but they're not saying much. Or at least this person tried to, you know, phrase it in a way where it seemed like it's not what it is. You know what? It's better that I show you. So, Bo Blacks was actually the one who, you know, took all this in and actually took the initiative to do what many people wouldn't do and actually see what's up. So, what ended up happening is, well, he says it best. Oh, they met in September 2013, non-sexual introduction, and she turned 18 a month later on October 2013. They ended up doing the nasty on December 2017 when she was 22. The way the info was presented, I thought it was met at 14 and did the hanky-panky four years later at 18. But it's actually met 18, did the do, at 22. The reason it's coming out now as an accusation is because she's mad that she got ghosted, but it makes sense considering Dan entered a long-term relationship with someone shortly after. It's basically the power dynamic arguments, man, and it's really annoying, and you know what? People are gonna get upset and cry that I say this, but it's the truth and you need to freaking accept it because this is how the grim reality works and I'm the one that's gonna tell you how it works. The SJWs, man. The listen and believe, the softies of this generation for all intents and purposes, the French of this gen, ladies and gentlemen. You know, we already had an example with the French girl, you know, crying about how her public image was used for a thumbnail, blah, blah, blah. You know, this is another example, right? This is another example of people using weakness and trying to, you know, weaponize it effectively to twist reality in, and bend it to their will. And I hate it. I deny it. I spit in it, ladies and gentlemen, because I dislike it to a great extent. And I know a lot of you guys would watch me. I know you feel the same way. Some of you don't want to express it, and that's okay. You don't want to handle the heat. It's okay. I'll take the heat for you. But you know deep down inside you feel the same way I do, and that's why you watch, and that's why you... You give me that support because you know, you know that this is true and you, you hate it too. You dislike it deep down inside as much as I do. So it's okay. I'll say it for you. But where is the proof? You know, you, you're asking, right? Well, here it is. It's actually in the Reddit post that was linked by the person making the accusations or rather the one pushing and signal boosting this, right? The Reddit post by this individual. Uh, and here it is. You want to read this, right? Evidence of what? Consensually hooking up with literally a 22-year-old. The whole story is, say hi to Dan at 17 years, 11 months old. Turns 18 a month later. Four years go by. Get the groupie treatment. I hate these types of people. I don't like them. I want them gone off the internet because, you know what? They don't deserve to be on the internet. They're terrible. They're either terrible people or they're just not smart enough. And the thing is, when you're not smart enough, you end up being prison made Luke. You, this person is inhaling the glue as we speak, ladies and gentlemen. This person right here must have spoken to Luke, right? And they probably had a bunch of, uh, 
they had a glue session or two, and then Luke was like, Well, you know, what you can do is start uh, this new allegation, and I'm sure it will get traction, and I will probably end up covering it on my channel if you contact me. That's, that's Luke, you know, this is 100% uh, accurately what happened, ladies and gentlemen. But the short and sweet of it, don't freaking blindly believe this, please. It's so, so, so dumb. Um, it's, it's, I, I just don't like it. But what do you guys think? Do you want to listen and believe to this obviously fabricated narrative that was so, so dumb? Um, or do you want to listen to reason and agree with me and wholesome Bo Blacks? I'm going to keep calling him wholesome because I know a lot of people cry when I do that, right? At least people that, you know, that hate just every commentator for, because they're morally above everybody else, apparently, because they're anonymous users and nobody knows about their fuck ups, right? So because it makes you upset, I'm going to keep calling him wholesome. I don't like you guys. <laughs> But, yeah, well, until next time, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section down below, and I love y'all, notice y'all, peace out, all that good stuff, bada bing, bada boom, realest guy in the room out, boom!